Over the last number of months, I've had several people approach me and talk to me about how exhausted they're feeling or the fact that they keep waking up in their sleep and not getting a good night's rest or, or even just simply not wanting to get up in the morning to go to work. There's this sense of meaningless or purposelessness in their lives. Well, these are all telltale signs of what I call burnout. And in a busy world, it's so difficult to balance maybe your family life, your marriage, uh, friendships, on top of all the work that you're doing, trying to pay the bills, and in the hecticness of our everyday life, we don't realize that what we're doing is causing us stress, anxiety, taking us to a place where we can't fully know what it means to rest. You know, back uh, about eight or nine years ago, I had been serving uh, in ministry for a good 15 years and, and worked really hard and I thought I was enjoying it and work was going really well. And then in about 2007, I, I, the Lord began to speak to me and said, it's time to take a break. And so in, the, in Easter of 2008, I left the ministry that I was and I was about to go into what ended up being almost a two year period of rest. Now, I wasn't expecting that. In fact, I was thinking that Within a few days or a few weeks, I'd be ready and, and up and running and be able to start my next phase of ministry. However, uh, in Jews, during that period that I wasn't sleeping well, I would wake up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and there would be work issues and stress things going through my mind and how was I going to do that? How are we going to make a decision on this? And, and I didn't realize what was going on in my subconscious. And so when I finally stopped, I thought stopping would be the solution, but actually it wasn't. In fact, it almost took me 12 weeks to begin to sleep through the night. And it took probably a further six or seven months before I began to feel that I was clear again, that I was arrested, that I actually had that sense of purpose and, and meaning and I was ready to go. You see, sometimes we don't realize that we don't know how to rest. And over these coming weeks, we want to begin to look at what it does it mean to find true rest. How do we operate not to rest, but from rest? You see, God's plan for our lives is that rest isn't a reward at the end. It's actually not something that we look forward to. It's actually something that we start from. It's our foundation. And so as we go through this series on rest, it's going to be keys to help you to avoid burnout. How to begin to find the balance and begin to put um, important uh, principles in place to begin to put boundaries so that you can begin to be the best you. Because when you are the best you, you become the best him. You begin to reflect the fullness of God's glory. You see, when you're tired, when you're exhausted, when you're on the point of burnout, you're no good to anyone. And so my prayer for you over these coming weeks is we begin to identify those things that keep us from finding the true rest that God wants us to have. This is Steve Chua praying that we can transform your heart so that you can transform the world.